So um, I'm going to continue the conversation uh, showing some a little bit of science and a little bit of uh, case examples uh, off of what Dr. Selber just talked about. I, too, am a consultant for and receive research support from TEI Biosciences. Um, so Dr. Selber went into a lot about repair technique, and a lot of this conference is about repair technique, and I think that's of the utmost importance, and we can debate which techniques are better. Um, Dr. Selba also showed some of our, our recent data about initial mesh strength, and I think it's important to consider that because uh, the initial strength that the patient has when they valsalva, when they wake up, when they're moving, um, that has to be taken into consideration. And what we found with Surgimen is that it's not only incredibly strong, but it's actually stronger than most of the synthetic meshes out there. Um, those are both important qualities to consider when choosing how to fix the abdominal wall, but additionally important is to consider how the mesh incorporates over time. Now, personally, I hate the term incorporation because it's very ill-defined. Um, as a resident, I was told incorporation means you don't see the mesh anymore, um, but I don't know if that's true, if that's false. What does that mean? So the term I like to use is integration. How has the mesh integrated with the host tissue? And I define that as three different variables that have to be considered, adherence of the mesh, vascularization, and then remodeling and replacement. So this is uh, just one slide from uh, a rat animal model that I've developed using surgimen intraperitoneally. And we varied various conditions, such as uh, suture fixation, um, denuding of the, the mesothelial lining of the, of the peritoneal surface here, et cetera come back a month later and just look to see what changes. And what you can see is this beautiful vascularization, this vascular penumbra coming from the site of adherence from the suture. Um, and although there's initially just adherence by the suture, eventually you get collagen ingrowth from the host, making it more of a molecular adherence. And you get this great vascularization where you can honestly see that this device is becoming tissue, and you can see a transition point in that device where it becomes tissue, and we know from other time points, the further out we go, uh, the further this vascular penumbra goes out, really extending this device to, to tissue transition all the way out towards the periphery. What are the signals that allow that to happen? This really remains unsolved at this point. Um, one of the things we know about surgimen is that it's a fetal or neonatal, depending on the thickness, um, dermal matrix, and so there's a higher ratio of type 3 to type 1 collagen. This might have a signaling mechanism. There might be other things involved as well. 